सो डू थिंक क्रेटा वुड कंटिन्यू टू बिकम द मार्क लीडर और एज वी कॉल इट एज द डॉन ऑफ एस यू वीज वट इज़ योर एक्सपेक्टेशन फॉर दिस फिजिकल ईयर एज वेल एज हाउ डू यू सी ग्रोइंग इन नेक्स्ट टू टू थ्री ईयर बिकॉज ऑलरेडी दिस सेगमेंट इज नाउ क्लटर विद लॉट ऑफ मैनी लॉट मैनी प्रोडक्ट्स इन दिस सेगमेंट इफ यू सी क्रेटा विद पास एट ईयर्स इट हैज ऑलवेज बीन अ सेगमेंट लीडर इनफैक्ट वन इन थ्री मिड साइज एस यू वी हैज बीन अ क्रेटा इवन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री वैन इन टू थाउंड ट्वेंटी टू एच टू वी हैड सो मेनी लॉन्चेस इन दिस सेगमेंट बट स्टिल क्रेटा ग्रू बाई ट्वेल्व परसेंट इन ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड एंड इट एज अ मार्केट लीडर सो आई हैव नो रीजन टू बिलीव दैट येस इट विल कंटिन्यू टू बी this is going to change i think kreta will continue to be the segment leader and the volumes will also go up even at a very high 157000 or that we sold in 2020 okay what is the current contribution of kreta in overall hyundai motors sales 6.1% in 23 and overall suv segment uh, about mid- more than 40% in the suv segment and what is your expectation for this fiscal year how much volume do you want to grow so let's see i mean i think as long as we continue to grow that is very good like i mentioned even last year we it kreta grew by 12% Yeah. Uh, of course now we have a very strong suv portfolio because xter has also yeah. uh, been added to the portfolio and despite so much of competition if kreta continues to grow that shows the cult status of the kreta and i would say yes it is the king of suvs because it has actually become so good that now kreta is equal to an suv is what people say i was coming to the extra because it's a blockbuster again uh, from hyundai uh, you have already working on your production capacity increase because and with this kreta launch how do you see that dynamics in the production side would be so see in july 2023 we had a capacity increase of about 4000 to 4100 per month and that has really helped us uh, uh, very very timely uh, capacity addition if you see last year we ended up with a sale of about 765000 or domestic plus exports now our capacity is close to 820000 So I think there is a uh, uh, scope to really, you know, uh, uh, look at uh, the full year of extra volumes, and of course the Kreta volumes also going up. And of course, then in some time in 25, uh, uh, hopefully, uh, you know, we should be ready with the, to start production in the Pune plant as well. Talk to us about the consumer insights. Who are buying Kreta, and you know what is the average age? What kind of features they are looking forward to? You have introduced ADAS in this again, and what is your feedback from the customers? So basically, you know these. Are the young customers who want to live the Hyundai SUV life? Uh, average age you talked about 38 is the average age, and you can see we can and in fact we can we we what we find is that more and more customers are going for the connected cars, more and more customers are going for the higher end cars. And Adas regarding Adas because we launched five Adas cars in the last uh, two three years, and uh, and now this is going to be a sixth car from the Hyundai Motor India stable to have the Adas. Very clearly shows how Indian customers are really accept. Thing, these new global features in India. So safety has become very important. Aspiration has become very important. Connectivity has become very important. And like I said, individualistic is also becoming very important. Right. The dual zone AC, right. which means that the driver can have 18 degrees and the and the cold driver can have 25 degrees temperature. So this is something very very unique and uh, something which is really really going. representing this new india who wants that this is what i want and uh, uh, and i would really want to be treated separately even if i am one of the four members in the car i want right. to be treated separately right right so we can safely say that adas is now on the want list of the customers when because you have already launched so many cars in this feature yes verna we launched the adas and the uh, close to 35% of the verna sales are with adas uh, i think when new again we launched the adas la- three months back and the response is again very good so my point is that yes, Yes, the uh, the uh, the evolution of the Indian customer is, uh, is is definitely happening at a much faster pace than sometimes we believe, and uh, and he does not want to compromise. Not not compromise on safety, not compromise on design, not com- compromise on technology, on features, on convenience. He wants a complete car, and right. I think Kreta is really giving him that kind of a complete car. Right. Now coming to the industry questions, uh, 2023 has been a year of record for everyone. How do you see 2024 to pan out? So I think uh, start is good. And uh, uh, if you see 23, industry had a growth of about 8.2 percent. Hyundai had a growth of 9 percent. I expect that uh, uh, on this high base, probably this year could again see another 3 to 4 percent growth, which is very, very good. Uh, so there are geopolitical stresses, there are inflation-related risks, there are interest rate-related risks. So, but yes, those are part. I think India is. Really, really showing a lot of resilience because of this eco- economy which is growing because of the young population that we have. So I'm expecting a growth in 24, and of course January pro- uh, and this new Kreta provides Hyundai a great opportunity to continue right. to outpace the market. Right. So 
Hyundai has also a lot of international exposure because it is one of the largest exporters of passenger vehicles from the country. Uh, how do you see that as being pan out for you particularly? So if you see 2023, we had a growth of 10% in export, which was a very, very healthy growth. And yes, there are geopolitical stresses. But Hyundai, if you see right from the day one, we have maintained a very good balance in domestic and exports. Currently, hmm. our, out of our total sales, 80% is domestic and 20% is export. Right. Going forward, we feel we should be able to maintain similar kind yeah. of a ratio. Uh, and uh, so that we can because Indian market is definitely domestic market mm. is a priority at the same time exports helps us to not only have a very good uh, brand image not only have a make in India also has a precious foreign exchange coming into the country right. tell us about your EV strategy because you have already Ionic 5 in your portfolio and how do you see do we see a mass uh, EV because competition is aggressive on this particular segment so yes uh, if you see Ionic 5 we sold 12, more than 1200 vehicles of Ionic 5 in 2023 when we had thought that we'll sell about 500 so it has received a great response we have already invested into localization of battery packs which should help us to bring the cost down and from 25 early 25 you will see more and more evs coming from the hyundai stable as well okay budget is around the corner what are your expectations from the government i have always believed that any budget which is good for the country for the people of the country will be good for the car industry as well thank you so much for joining us today. thank you